the Houston Rockets take a 2-1 series lead after an emphatic 113-92 win over the Utah Jazz on the road in Game 3. James Harden finished with 25 points and 12 assists, while Eric Gordon exploded for 25 points off the bench, shooting 8 of 13 from the field. Here are three takeaways from Game 3. Houston's first quarter flurry. The Rockets were the number one team in the regular season in first quarter scoring, and didn't they look like it today? They raced out to a 39 22 lead, with the ball flying around the court as they racked up 10 assists on 16 made field goals in the opening frame. More impressively, they didn't turn the ball over once. This was the most in sync the Rockets have looked defensively with their crisp rotations, on ball defense, and successful switching, closing every gap the Jazz tried to create. Their first quarter outburst set the tone for the game, with the lead ballooning to 38 at one point. Can't stop Capella. There are few bigs that can impact the game on both ends like Clint Capella, and he was in his bag today. The big man finished with four blocks, but his presence in the paint consistently threw the jazz off as he pressured and deflected shot after shot all night. If his defensive work wasn't impressive enough, Capella was active running the floor helping the Rockets get easy points in transition they turned 16 Jazz turnovers into 19 points in Game 3. The Derek Favors-Rudy Gobert pairing slowed things down for the Jazz and clogged up the paint on offense. Favors turned his ankle in the third quarter and left the game. Donovan's quiet night. Following Ben Simmons' struggles yesterday, Fellow Rookie of the Year contender Donovan Mitchell finally looked like a rookie in Game 3, finishing with just 10 points. It simply wasn't his night as his shot refused to fall, connecting on just 1 of 10 from the field in the first half. He finished the night shooting 2 of 7 from 3 and 4 of 16 from the field. While Mitchell had an off game, credit must go to Houston's defense. Trevor Ariza was draped over Mitchell like a blanket all game, forcing him into difficult looks. When the Jazz forced the switch, Capella and Ariza worked in tandem to keep Mitchell away from the rim. Without their young star firing, the Jazz couldn't find much offense anywhere else. Joe Ingles cooled off from three, finishing with six points and the Rockets refused to let Rudy Gobert finish any lobs or get anything clean at the rim. Dot Mitchell began to get his jumper going at the end of the third quarter, hitting back-to-back -back shots, but it was all too late by then.